This was my list starter. I'm pretty happy about how it turned out after the changes. Still one of my favorite build in the game. What's up guys? Bridget here. Let's see what things we got on the damage side. Our skill choice is Taxi Crane. Parring your projectile with your bow and where it lands, you create a spark pad and this will start dealing chaos damage over time in aura and they can overlap with each other. In the list starter video, I told you how much aura effect you need for the maximum overlap. Well, turned out. The aura threshold is a little different because someone done tons of testing about the aura effects. And he find out where to aura of effect breakpoints optimal signal target damage can be achieved by increasing your aura effect at least 37% but not more than 43%. So from now, this is our new aura threshold. We reaching this with the bow mastery 20%, glove craft 8 to 10% and I personally suggesting get a medium class surgery with towering threat for the rest. With this, you can save your helmet in it's more useful things like monocost reduction or curse effectiveness. I got tons of questions about how to clear faster with this build. For clear, we using caustic arrow. You fire with your bow and where this projectile lands, it will create caustic ground and this will deal in chaos damage over time. Alone this skill is not too good for clearing. Because of that, we adding Aura Nova support to it. With this combination, or clear will much, much faster. So when you mopping, just socket caustic arrow and Aura Nova support in your bow instead of toxic rain and mirage archer and you good to go. You can use Toxic Rain as your secondary damage in maps, but more about this later. As you know, with Necropolis League, we lost the mana reduction craft on flasks. So I needed a new way to make this build work and solve the mana issues. We can reserve all of our mana because the build using Eldritch battery, with that we will spend our energy shield just like we have mana, but we can use our skills more freely because we don't have to worry about the mana at all. Right now I have 640 energy shield, so I regening around 110 energy shield per second. Even for safety measures, I'm using Abyss Javel with energy shield regen, so I don't have to worry about running out of energy shield. Yes, we can still use Divine Blessing setup like before without a problem. Don't forget to get inspiration support with quality and link to Divine Blessing. Now you can have an extra aura for free. As you can see, I don't have any problems to cast my Divine Blessing and attack at the same time. I want to raise your awareness for one thing. You can't run maps with less recovery rate to energy shield or life. I mean, you can run, but it will be annoying because your energy shield recharge will be super low. I get many questions about how this build that tanky or why I'm using this this and this item. On the defensive side, we got new defensive options to the build. We can use automotation support and you link to it in Mortal Core. And because of the gem will activate itself often, you can just level up to maximum level the Immortal Core and get a nice extra defensive boost. Don't forget to get quality on the automotation support gem because the quality is cooldown recovery rate, so it will activate more often. We converting big chunk of physical damage taken to elemental damage. We are already converting 74% to elemental damage. Using lighting oil, that's alone 50%. From the helmet, we getting 14%. And I'm already using pretty of lighting in the the build, so I can use a Watcher Eye with 10% fist taken as lighting them. I want to cover the elemental flash changes. The build is not affected by this change at all in a negative way. It's the opposite. We got buffed on high again because my endgame setup is reaching 90% maximum resistance. Also, personal note here. It's more satisfying to look at the high maximum resistance numbers. For right now, we still using Grey Soda because on maps much, much more enjoyable than use the Petrified Blood that I suggested in the endgame version. But don't worry, I will cover everything to related to this later. I want to speak about Tides of Time Unique Belt. This is coming from Uber Shaper. Most of you very excited about this belt, but sorry to say, this belt is not too good for this build or any build because you will lose out so many valuable stats from the bad slot. The flash generation is not a problem for a pathfinder, so this is not useful for now. Increase flask effect is good, but the problem with that, it doesn't give you back what you lose from the stats. So overall, I think it's not too good for this build, maybe for another build. This was my list starter and I pretty about how it turned out after the changes. I know I was a little bit slow, but I have an excuse for this. For the first time I was streaming the whole process how I'm making my build and I got tons of questions in the meantime and I even helped many, many people to fix their toxic rain build. Also little side note here, I think Expedition got nerfed because this league I was not seeing a signal divine rob from 2gen and I got the same feedback from many others. So this is also a very big factor why I was slow, don't get me wrong. 
this is still good pace, but for me, last league, this time I was ready to do Ubers. Now I just finished my 4 wash stones. I would like if you hit the like button like the shaper hitting the elder, so it can start spread to more people. Thank you! Few important things you need in the build, because we using Eldritch battery you need energy shield and evasion bases and a pure energy shield base helmet. Our weapon is a standard crafted bow with plus 1 socketed bow gems, increase chaos damage over time, attack speed and then craft plus 2 support gems and chaos damage over time multiplier. In the notes section you can read how craft a bow like this, or as always you can ask me on twitch.tv slash project 2. On the keyword, life and damage over time multi with attack skills and damage with both. Well, most of the time I'm using penetrating aura keyword, but after a quick testing I found out for clear we don't need any sort of peers. I was farming legion like this and also a few people that tried this says the same. It is still good for clear like this. The amulet is also a crafted one. In the notes section you can also find out how to craft this one very easily. Our annoyment is for now acrimony. On the gloves, High life, suppression and attack speed. Craft increased RL. Suppression and chaos damage multi as implicit. This was crafted by life essence spamming. So it was easy. On the boots, suppression, movement speed, craft avoid elemental elements as an implicit avoid elemental elements and action speed. On the helmet, life and big energy shield draw. For the eldritch battery, craft is damage taken as fire. For implicit, physical damage taken cold or lighting and despair curse effect or reduce mana cost of attacks. On the rings, life and attributes and resistance and craft minimum frenzy charges and minus mana cost. On the belt, life and strength also increase flash charge gain. My base is a stage in wise. We have an abyss socket here, I'm using right now energy shield, life and energy shield regen on this one. So the flask we using is a ruby, topaz, sapphire, quicksilver, divine life flask. All the flask needs to be with this mod, increase effect and reduce duration. Pay attention when you are your flask, because there is many mod combination with these two, but the duration reduce even bigger, so your flask will not have 100% uptime. The sub mods change to our being frozen and all elemental resistance and being stuck. On Quicksilver, regenerate life, you will use this for mapping. When you do in boss fights, you change Quicksilver flask to Silver flask with attack speed. Pantheons we using is the following on boss fights. Major, Soul of Solaris, Minor, Soul of Garukan. For mapping, I switching to Soul of Lunaris and I also upgraded this. Bandits, two passive points. I just want to highlight a few things on the passive tree that you need for the build. Using 2-8 passive class surgery with Wicked Pole, Unwaveringly Evil and Unholy Grace. On the other side of the tree, another 8 passive class surgery with Unholy Grace, Unwaveringly Evil and Wicked Pole. Two medium class surgery, Brute for Potency and Flow of Life. The other, Towering Threat and Wasp Power. Using a Watcher Eye with Fist Damage taken as Lightning and Damage Over Time Multiplier while affected by Malvolence. Surprisingly, this was only 6 Divine. This league, the Dot Multi Watcher Eye is cheap, for some reason. The rest of the jewels is rare with aura damage and life. I hope you didn't forget. We got back tattoos in this league, so I'm using a few. 8% increased life recovery from flask. I'm using 7 of these. And also using increased chaos damage in the inn. Just a few because the build is very int heavy, so I couldn't get more of this. We taking Pathfinder as our ascendancy. On your first lap, we take Nature Reprisal. I'm never with Toxic Rain, so this nose was a game changer in the early acts. Second lap, Nature's other line. Now you're generating flash charges. Third lap, Nature's Boon. Last lab, Master Surgeron. Gem and Gemni starting with our main link in our weapon, Toxic Rain, Empower, Mirage Archer, Efficacy, Void Manipulation, Awakened Vicious Projectile. When you're doing maps, switch out the Toxic Rain to Caustic Arrow, the Mirage Archer to Awakened Aro Nova Support. In our Body Armor, or Secondary Source of Damage, the Ballista Setup, Toxic Rain, Ballista Totem, Multiple Totem, Efficacy, Awakened Vicious Projectile and Focus Ballista. In our gloves or aura setup, Enlighten Level 3, Marvelance, Purity of Lightning, Grace. In our boots, Withering Step, Despair, Automotation Support and Immortal Call. In our helmet, Inspiration, Haste, Divine Blessing and Flame Dash. I hope you enjoyed this video about Toxic Rain Pathfinder. If you have any question, please leave a comment below or you can find me on twitch.tv slash project2. Also, I would like to say thank you for my Patreons for supporting me. 
thanks again guys. Thanks for watching, I was Bridget, see you next time.